Hello guys and welcome back to our Gregory home. My name is Chelsea and it's that time of year again. Fall, Halloween, aka my favorite time of year. So I created some fun witch DIYs for you guys out of Dollar Tree materials. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and start with this little frame that you can buy at Dollar Tree in their frame section. I really liked the Victorian type look of this and I feel like it was very witchy. So I go ahead and grabbed it. Now what we're going to do is obviously just take that glass out. Now the paper we're going to keep and we are going to paint that black. And this is just going to be like the base for um, the picture. We are going to put the paper back in it and then obviously put the glass and the backing back on. So you can see I'm just painting that and then I'm also painting the frame black as well. I didn't get a complete full coverage on the frame because I did want it to have a little bit of silver peeking through. So now we're just going to put that glass back in and then the paper back in and the backing back in <laughs> and of course pull the little tab so it stays in place now this DIY is so easy you guys I'm gonna be taking this little hat stickers from the Dollar Tree and I opted for the uh, glitter orange one and just a little bit of hot glue on the back and you stick that right on and I just think this turned out so cute. I did end up going back with a wet washcloth and since I used the Waverly chalk paint, it just wipes right off. If you don't have um, the Waverly chalk paint, then of course you can just use a sandpaper and sand it off if you want to. So like I said, this is such an easy little project and it's just so cute. It would look so cute in like a little tiered tray. I ended up putting this up on my shelf with the other DIYs I did. And here's what it looks like all finished. Moving on to a little witch garland, I'm going to be using these little witch hats and I'm going to be painting them all black. While those are drying, I'm taking this little scarf that I picked up from Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting strips. I ended, I ended up cutting six strips and it doesn't matter that my scissors weren't working <laughs> because I wanted them to look ragged anyways. <laughs> and so what I'm doing is just cutting the strips. Now I'm going to be using some of this little twine that I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot. However, if you just want to use regular um, twine or different colored baker's twine, that is good as well. Now instead of um, tying these on the string, I decided to just hot glue them because I figured it would be easier and they would lay more flat. So that's what I'm doing here is just adding a little bit of hot glue and just sticking those hats on. Now we're going to be taking the scarf and we're just going to be adding that um, in the middle between the hats and just tying two knots pretty simple um, all of these projects are really simple you guys anyone can do them and they're so easy but they're so cute and i love this this is a really short garland because the package only comes with five hats but if you wanted to do it longer you certainly could And so once that is all done, this is what it looks like hanging up on my shelf. Moving on to my next and favorite DIY, I'm going to be using this Mr. and Mrs. sign that I picked up from Dollar Tree and you're just going to be removing the packaging and then taking out that little hanger that goes in the back. Now I'm going to be reversing this so I'm going to be using the inside not the back or the outside of it, the part that says the Mr. and the Miss. So what I'm doing is I am just painting that entire thing on the inside with some black Waverly chalk paint. I did pick this up from Walmart and if you're interested I will leave a link down below for you guys. Mm -hmm. 
Now once that's completely dry, I'm going to be taking this little window cling that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. It did come in like a full kit, um, but I'm just going to be using this one. It does say Witch's Brew on it, but since this isn't really a, like a potion type DIY craft, I'm just going to be cutting the Witch's Brew off and using the, just the Witch and the Moon and the little stars. And to attach that, I'm just adding some Mod Podge. I was a little worried that the window cling wouldn't stick because you know how they're kind of like that plastic material, but you guys, this stuck on so good and I've, I've finished this for a couple days now and it still has stuck on really good. So I'm just adding a layer of Mod Podge um, on the entire top of that just so it has the same sheen and once that is all dry I am just using some leftover house paint that I had and I'm kind of adding like some fog clouds I really wanted it to look like she was like flying through the sky you know on a creepy Halloween night so I'm just using a couple different methods with a paper towel and then a dry brush and then just kind of going over and smearing it a little bit now these little wooden signs I did pick up from the 99 cent store in like a big pack but however Dollar Tree does carry wooden letters I'm just using these because this is what I had on hand and so what I did was I spelled Wicked Witch and I am just hot gluing those on kind of in a curved pattern a half a circle um, on the top and then also the bottom Now I did want to paint these orange, so what I'm doing is just taking some of that apple, apple barrel paint in the color pumpkin and giving them a nice coat of orange. And this is what it looks like finished. I love how this turned out. It's my favorite. I think it just looks so vintagey and so cool. I love it. All right, on to the next and final DIY. We're gonna be using this Farm Sweet Farm sign I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm just gonna be removing that metal piece and the little thumbtacks that are holding it down. I was going to take off the um, burlap, but I decided not to. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just give that kind of like a dry brush coat of black Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and I'm just going over and just kind of making it look old and vintage like it's been sitting out like in your garage <laughs> and then I'm just going to be turning over that metal piece and putting the thumbtacks back in those these were actually a little bit harder to stick back in than I thought so even if I found the hole they were hard to stick back in so I did have to hammer them down a little bit um, um, off, off camera I hammered them a little bit so once you get those stuck in I'm going to be taking these little witch ornaments that I picked up from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be using one of those little witches and just cutting the little string off. And then I was trying to figure out how I wanted to position her. I decided to just go for this. <laughs> so once I decided how I liked her, I'm just adding some hot glue and sticking her down. Now I thought it needed just a little bit more so I'm taking these DIY stickers and I'm just taking a couple of the bats and sticking the bats on either side of her. Now I don't know if I like them. What's nice about them is I can just take them off if I decide I don't like them. I did end up painting them black and I hated it so I went back with orange so it kind of matched the other DIYs. Um, but what do you guys think? Should I leave the bats or should I take them off? Let me know down below. And so once those little bats are dry, this is how that little project turned out. I think all these DIYs turned out so cute and the orange and the browns and the blacks really bring them all together. I wanted to show you guys how I styled them on my little bookshelf. So what I'm doing is hanging the little garland that I made on the top of the bookshelf. Then I'm taking this little cheesecloth um, spooky fabric, I think is what it's called. Um, on the bottom and then putting some books on top with the Wicked Witch sign on top of the books just to kind of elevate it a little bit. Then I'm taking the little signs and putting those on either side and these little velvet pumpkins I also picked up from Dollar Tree and these little witch boots are from Target Dollar Spot. And so this is how everything looks up on my shelf. I just love the cohesiveness of, is that a word? Cohesiveness. <laughs> I just love how everything ties together. The orange, the blacks, the golds. I just think it looks so cute and I absolutely love it. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this inspires you maybe to make some Halloween crafts. And if you do make any of these, tag me on Instagram at ourgregoryhome. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.